<laughs> you want to answer that? I know the answer. I want to make sure you know the answer. <laughs> we'll have been married 30 years next, this April. Ooh. It'll be 12 years in a few months. Turning 12 in May. Four years. Four years. Yep. Four years. Going on five, yeah. Yeah, four years. <laughs> Who liked the other person first? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. She had to like me first. <gasps> I don't From know. From across the bar. <laughs> it, yeah. it took a little time to warm her up. Yep. <laughs> this All time. right, okay, okay. She I saw don't know. Me. It was love at first. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> no? That's the way I remember it. I had the hots for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But who made the first move? Oh, mm hmm <laughs> Yes, that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you obviously made the first move. I'm not going to make the first move. <laughs> right? Yeah, I came over to where they were sitting, her and my uh, workmate. What did you do it, if you don't like something? I'll tell, I'll say it. Okay, she, you tell she, the story. We were at KBBQ, and she was starting to rub my back, and I was <laughs> like, oh, my God. <laughs> it was kind of a setup, like a, we blind jokingly date. call it a speed date. It was but a blind date that was fast. Um, and we met, we talked, we didn't even have time to eat. But it was afterwards that I asked the other couple for her number and started texting, talking. No, no, no. I'm the one that gave the number because I don't want to text you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. What was your reaction? Oh, I, I started eating my Korean barbecue faster. I was like, was so. I don't know if you know that term, but definitely killing. So it worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it worked. What do you think has been the best part of being married to me? To me, um, the best part is just having a lifelong partner to know that there's always somebody there with me that I can share everything with until um, the end, whether it's good times or some, you know, struggles, um, you know, a uh, full-time companion for the rest of my life. The best part for me would be knowing that um, we're each other's um, safe space while dealing with life. <laughs> Um, at the end of the day, um, we have each other's back. Mm -hmm. um, we can be angry at each other, but when something comes up, it's like we resume to like, okay, how are we going to deal with it? And we're okay. <laughs> it's going to make... Well, <laughs> it's our... The journey we had in leading us to Samantha really brought us together yeah. there were ups there were a lot of downs on that journey but growing together growing our faith in god was essential during that time because we were trying to get pregnant many times and it's always been we lose the pregnancy and until god um, led us to a big calling of adoption and that's when God led us to adopting and being blessed to have our own through our newborn, Samantha, during that time. So, yeah, that's the best part. What has been the greatest lesson you learned about love through your relationship? Love is a choice. <laughs> no matter what, is what. I've heard it before, but... Um, uh, now being married and I'm like man I I understand what they what they say that love is truly a choice no matter how annoyed you can get or how you know how many times you have to remind the person to do something um, <laughs> that bothers you that, that that's your pet peeve right uh, it's a choice to, to constantly love so yeah being forgiving yeah I think for me it's patience yeah Mostly that love is different things to different people. We all have our love language and 
Um, she has hers, I have mine, and sometimes, a lot of times, hers is words of encouragement, and I'm a man of few words, and sometimes my words aren't encouraging <laughs> as they should be. But I think she loves me all the same. In the time you've been together, what's one thing or one of the biggest things that you've learned about yourself in this In being with M's, one of the most important things that I've learned is Jesus. Because yeah. M's brought me back to Jesus, back to faith in Christ. Many, many years ago, um, I was a lot more stubborn than I was, but um, you know, through this relationship, I've learned that I can compromise. <laughs> yeah. What's one thing I learned about myself? You said? About yourself mm. through this relationship. Oh, that I can't change anyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's what I learned. It's okay. You can't change them, you know? You can encourage. Um, a, a changed behavior by be leading by example or something, but at the end of the day, you can't. I can't change you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that I'm capable of loving somebody that's so opposite of me. I've learned how to love and be loved. Uh, I've learned patience with her. I want to try to always be a better man, a better father. Of course, before we met, I'm like a, a dreamer, achiever, like I had my plans kind of lined up. But then God has a different, way different plan, which was way better. And I think that's like me learning how to trust God fully. <clears throat> because now, the things that I've been hoping before, I'm actually enjoying it now without me exerting an effort. What's one of the best times in your relationship? Um, I think the birth of our daughter. And also, I think the, to me, it's like a, the constant of just having each other around. Mm. Just like being next to each other, um, having the, like the quiet, boring days. Mm. Because you're content of just having each other around. Why am I getting emotional? <laughs> <laughs> you okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> One of the best times was on our 20th anniversary where, when we renewed our vows with some close friends. And family, yeah. Um, I guess the best time, there's no one time, I guess, but every time we travel is a good time. Um, you know, I consider that a good time for us. Um, we love to travel, explore new places, and having him with me um, to learn about, you know, new cultures, new places. It's a good time for me. One of the best times is so many. Yeah, there are so many. The travels. Traveling is one of the things that we've always liked. The now, best is? The best, of course, uh, <laughs> is, you know, when we get married, we had our honeymoon, <laughs> we went to Hawaii and enjoyed ourselves. Honeymoon, guys. <laughs> Excuse me, honeymoon, yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say it really followed after the best time of our, our life, which is the birth of our daughter, right? Entering parenthood. Yeah. That's where we really like... <laughs> Tested. <laughs> yeah. This is where like the opposite mm -hmm. um, factor played. Yep. And it really like, you know, put us in a position where we really had to learn how to be a team. And some days that's still like hard, but um, like right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's like a natural thing to go through, and, and um, that's kind of that's the idea that I hold on to. You know that you know people go through this, and it's a natural thing. Um, but it's about staying the course and um, willing to play as a team or as a team player. So. <sighs> Yeah, it's that journey. It yeah. During that journey, there was <laughs> journey before of... we had settled on adoption, we did a round of IVF. And that the ups and downs that come with that were just greatly magnified. Yeah. Especially the downs because it was unsuccessful. 
Yeah. <clears throat> we got, yeah, we were hoping we're having twins, um, but then, you know, we lost it. So it was like physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Yeah, the drain, yeah. the drain that that comes with is. It drained both of us. <clears throat> yeah, but that's part of it. It's part of the journey that made um, having Samantha even sweeter, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, we took on a whole new role, mm -hmm. we, like first-time parents. Um, <clears throat> I think navigating through, like, your role as an individual, your role as a wife, husband, and, and now your father, mother role, it's hard. It's, out, it's hard out here. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. Parenthood is tough. Mm -hmm. Don't get us wrong. We love her so much. But it's having to, I think, wanting to, like, raise her right. But raising her right while picking and choosing each other. It's like, okay, you like this, but I don't like that. I like that, but you don't like this type of thing. Mm -hmm. And, yeah applying into one little tiny body that's one it's scary mm -hmm. two it's just like you know and then on top of that there's life just like constantly like happening so yeah i think parenthood has got to be the toughest yeah how did he know she or he was the one god has blessed you to spend the rest of your life with? well um when we first met when i approached her and uh we didn't see each other again for a couple of months, I think. Wasn't it a while? Yeah. It was quite a while. Mm -hmm. And then she would come into our office, and uh, I don't remember if I got her number again or whatever, but uh, we ended up going on a lunch date, and after that we started dating regularly. And at one point I just thought, this is the gal I want to spend the rest of my life with and uh, I think about six months later I proposed to her. It was one day in May he picked me up he was wearing I don't know it's like when God is working in mysterious ways I was looking at him and he was wearing blue and he looked so radiant like glowing in front of me and I was like God he is the guy only to find out I'm not colorblind but I found out after because we're trying to find the shirt, find that shirt, you know, as a memorabilia. It was not blue. It was gray, like very gray. And I was like, okay, that was God's doing for making that shirt blue. Because <laughs> I love blue. <laughs> I knew that Arwen Aligar was the one when he prayed for me. Mm. <laughs> well, I don't remember that one. What was that? <laughs> No, so backstory, I used to commute to work oh. for like <laughs> <in my car>. <laughs> <laughs> I used to commute to work for over an hour. So I have to leave super early in the morning, like four or five in the morning, just so I could meet traffic. And this man right here <laughs> would walk me to my car and make sure I'm safe, but not only that, he would pray for me and he would pray for me out loud so to me that's a sign because I've never had a partner um, does ever did that and it's one of those things that I never knew I needed and to me that was a sign because it's like I said when I say opposite that's one of those things that I mean where I'm like I never knew I would fall for somebody that would do things that I never even thought not that it existed but I never experienced before so what do you think is the secret to a long life for me I think what we learned when we did um, marital counseling the premarital oh, yes. counseling because many things we learned from that one actually um, help us in any fights yeah and remembering to always pay attention to what the other person is saying, especially when there's a difference. And if you do that, then 
there, there will always be fights, there will always be arguments, but that really helps prevent them from getting really big mm -hmm. and always keep God in the center of it as well. Yeah. And, you know, as it says in scripture, be patient, be kind, and, and all, all of those things the are... The fruits of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yes, that's very important to lasting love. And praying together. Praying together is essential as well. I tell people that a relationship, you have to invest in it. It's not like work, but you do have to try at it. And it's like anything if you want to succeed at, you've got to work at it. I think God has to be part of the equation um, because um, as, you know, human beings, we all have weaknesses and sometimes, like I said earlier, sometimes there are times when maybe Dan or I are not as lovable <laughs> as we should be, but um, knowing that this is what God wants for our marriage and um, just keeping in mind what God, how God um, wants us to treat each other, I think that helps. Um, in, you know, our relationship. Um, communication. Jesus first. Oh, that's <laughs> a good yes, one. And then yes, communication. Communication. Because that's like the toughest. And I think accepting um, them for who they are and knowing that it's okay. Like, agree to disagree. It's going to be a thing and we need to be okay with that. Mm -hmm. Finish the sentence. I love you because... <laughs> I love you because you put up with me. <laughs> you love me whether I'm cranky or grumpy or happy. Um, I love you because you're my husband um, and you are God's greatest gift to me. Finish the sentence. I love you I love you because you made me a happy Mrs. Younger. I love you because you made me a much better person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you because um, you challenge me in a, in a good way, um, which helps me grow. And you know me, I always want to grow. Um, as an individual, but also as a partner. So, um, yeah, I love you because you you you, uh, you encourage me to do the things that I love, and then to to um, you challenge my perspectives, and um, you give me an opportunity to grow. I love you because. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you better know. <laughs> I'm choosing my word. Um, no, I love you because you're my constant friend um, for life. And I've learned a lot through him. Um, so I love him for that. <laughs>